You were in Kamanga earlier today after the demolition of the community borehole by suspected political cadres. Mm -hmm. So what exactly did you find while you were on the ground? Well, what we found when we were on the ground is quite unfortunate. I mean, uh, we know for a fact that uh, Zambia right now, so most parts of the country are going through water challenges. And at this point, water is a huge, is, it's more than a necessity to see. Uh, I mean, it's more than a necessity in the fact that we're in the middle of the global pandemic. People need water every day, every minute of their lives. It's really unfortunate to see women leaving their homes at 0330 going to look for water. It's quite unfortunate. And that's what we found on the ground. People are complaining. They're moving from one place to another looking for water. Now, there seem to be a lot of damage, not just to the water uh, boreholes, of course, but to private property. There was a lot of cars that were smashed in. There was the bricks that they were now trying to replace. Mm -hmm. What was the intention? What was actually happening from these suspected cadres? Were they in transit going somewhere or was this just an unruly display of recklessness? From what we got from the people we interviewed who were told that uh, suspected uh, PF cadres were actually mobilizing and then in the process of doing that, they came across the UPND office, which they began to damage uh, in the process. They ended up destroying the community water borehole as well. And then they, 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 their residents also described the area to be um, very dangerous. So clearly, Amina, it's, uh, it's, it's an issue of politics. So one of the one of the people that we spoke to actually there said that um, if these politicians have issues, that's not the way to go about it. Damaging property, destroying the community boho, that's not the way to go. If they have issues, if these uh, political parties have issues, they need to sit down and resolve matters. Otherwise, vandalizing community property and public property is not the way to go and it's not going to take the country anywhere. Of course. So now what is the way forward from this? Because you've gone and damaged a, uh, a community borehole. These people do not have water. Mm. Is there anyone who's come forward to say that something is going to be done? Any side, whether it be PF or whether it be UPND, something has to be done in order to get water to these people, Appar as you said. Apparently, we have pandemic. only heard from uh, the UPND leader, Haka Indeichilema, who has actually assured the people to say he will restore what was damaged. But I feel and I personally think that it should not only be the UPND, it should be every well-meaning Zambian to put hands together, irrespective of one's political affiliations, people must come together and ensure that uh, water is restored in Kamanga community. Like I said earlier on, I mean, right now, water is more than a need. And you can tell from the tone of the residents mm. in that area that they're actually quite fed up. They're very tired they're, of what's They are going very on. tired. Yeah. It's yeah. an unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. We hope it gets resolved soon. But thank you very much for that information, Precious. You're welcome.